Hey everyone, you ready to clear up something? <laughs> I get asked this all the time, so I wanna make you an actual surface disinfectant. Cause I think a lot of you guys are getting questions from schools and different establishments saying, what can I use? So I'm gonna make my own. This is fully legal and you could call this a disinfectant. Okay, so this is important to note. Um, our thieves cleaner on its own with water, you can't make that claim. For one, this is something that you are diluting on your own. So a product that a cus consumer is able to dilute on their own cannot be labeled as a disinfectant. Okay, so just so we're clear on that. Also, because um, the guidelines state that it has to have a certain amount of alcohol, and this is not an alcohol-based product, this is a surfacant. So this is technically not considered a disinfectant. However, all of you guys who've done those fun little uh, petri dish experiments, you can go ahead and make your own decision there. There is zero literature, zero studies official, other than the mom petri dishes, that you can show anybody to claim this. So no organization is going to accept this on its own, simply because there's no scientific backed studies showing this to be a disinfectant. Okay, so it's very important to understand this is a surfacant. It's a cleaner, okay? It was never intended to be a disinfectant, uh, you know, like the thieves spray. That is mostly alcohol, so that is going to have that disinfectant ability. So I'm gonna create a thieves surfacant cleanser that's a disinfectant spray. Does that make sense? This is not for your skin. I've already done a video for you all on how to make a san hand sanitizer, and you always wanna use like grain alcohol. So I use Everclear alone. Don't add water, don't add anything else to it. It's a spray hand sanitizer. So you could create it in these little spray bottles. Just use this with this and add a couple oils for to make it smell good. If you're creating a surface, a surface sanitizer, you can use isopropyl alcohol, okay? This is not toxic to you as a surface spray, all right? So just know there's a lot of conflicting information out there. It's not. This is what hospitals use. We've already discussed this. Hospitals use this all the time, and if it was toxic, nurses and doctors would be getting sick all the time, and they're not. So I'm going to fill this thing with isopropyl alcohol. Okay, this is not to be consumed. That's the biggest difference. Isopropyl alcohol is not to be consumed, whereas grain alcohol like Everclear is fine to be consumed. Okay, so, and it's by volume, and I've already discussed all of this with you all, so I just wanna show you a quick how-to. Then I'm just going to take a capful, and I can actually do about a half a capful for this amount because it's such a small container here. I think it's like four ounces. And this is just going to act as a surfacant here. That's it. So it smells good too. You can add extra oils in there if you want, the Thieves essential oil if you want, just to make it smell good. But now this is a really, you gotta prime it first, but watch. It sprays for a nice good amount of time and that smells really good. It doesn't have that gross hospital. You can still smell the alcohol a little bit, so I probably would wanna add a little bit of extra essential oil in there. But this becomes a sanitizing surface cleaner. I don't have to wash it off. So what I mean by that is you can spray toilets, hands, you know, hand, handles um, that you, you know, door handles. You can spray desks and let it sit and walk away. Okay, so what the surfacant does is it lifts anything up so that you could wipe it off if you wanted to, but because this is a fine mist sprayer, right, what it's doing is it's going to disinfect the area you're spraying onto. It's not meant to be sprayed on, sprayed on, and then wiped off. So this is a full alcohol surface disinfectant, okay? And it's because of the alcohol, not because of the thieves. The thieves household cleaner in here is just a surfacant, smells good, has some other properties to help with calcium buildup, that kind of thing. So that's it. So that's a surface disinfector that is fully legal and has been studied and documented on the CDC and the WHO and the FDA and everybody, right? They all will say that using 90, whatever, I have 91% isopropyl alcohol is fine. If you were going with Everclear, this is 120 proof, which means it's only 60% by volume. So it's better to get the higher one, the 151 proof. They have a couple different ones, 190 proof. 
If you can't get that, you can get perfumer's alcohol, which is 200 proof, which means it's 100% by volume. And you can dilute that if you wanted to because perfumer's alcohol is a little exp expensive. Perfumer's alcohol always has denatured um, biz, biz, I, f I forget what it's called, bit, bit rate or something like that. It's not bit rate, that's totally wrong. It's called, um, it's, a, it's a thing that tastes bad, okay? And that is a very tiny, tiny molecule in there that they know is the most bitter tasting molecule on the planet. And they put a tiny amount in there. That is what is called a, a denatured alcohol. That's what they denature it with. So um, you can look that up. And if you're ever curious, like what that extra added one ingredient is, um, it's just a very tiny molecule that's not going to harm anybody, especially if you're just using it on things. Okay, that's it. I hope this was helpful. Um, have at it. Bye, guys.